Hello and welcome one all to yet another Adventure Quest Worlds video and today I am here at Join Cathedral and I'm going to go through every single one of the quests as usual for you all. Okay so the first quest is incredibly simple and all you do is follow where I go and once the cutscene has loaded you can click on this data station Aeon just here and he will have the first set of quests for us. Now there are quite a few quests to do from different people which is why you may get stuck. So for the first quest just head to the right and you need to defeat the corrupted sentries which are right here. I believe it is eight for this quest so you'll get it done pretty quick quickly as they are not too hard to defeat at all. Then we can head back and we can think about turning in the quest. Now make sure you follow where I do go on these quests. I will skip to some of the NPCs because I'll describe where about they are. But for the next quest it is just simple click where I click. So you have to click on each of the purple archways because they will have a blue arrow above them. Now make sure you do not let these overlap because it did bug for me and I did not get one of the arrows when I did click on it because I sort of rushed them when one hadn't quite finished fully but there are three in the end room here and then the last two are in your starting room where you started the quest basically first of all and once you have clicked on them two which i will do in a minute you have completed the next quest and we are ready to continue on the adventure and this is where you just head through the room on the far left archway which is the second one just there and then you are arriving at data station hafefesius Yes, that's right, I said it. So you just click on him and the quest will auto turn in and you will get a cutscene and you will get some fresh quests from him for you to do. Now for the first quest, here you have to defeat some of the sock ducks as we're calling them and the flying cakes. We'll call them flying cakes, they, they don't necessarily look like cakes but we'll call them cakes. And then you come along, click on size roll just here or scissor row, however you're supposed to say it. I always say size row, I don't know why, I just prefer it. And you have completed the next quest. Then we can head along, turn in and I must admit guys, make sure you're using an XP boost if you have one because they are pretty hefty on it. For the next quest you just see there, I go to the far room and you have completed it. And now it will spawn a little boss. Once you have defeated him, he's only got about 10,000 health. You have completed the majority of the quests in this particular section. Now, next of all, if you go along to the first room we went into with the corrupted sentries, there is another archway for you to progress through. And that will lead you into this area here, which is a sort of king and sculpture and everything throne like in the next area. So, what you have to do for the first quest is attack the Pengodian pentagon the knights which are right in front of us and then we can click on gravelin and it will give us the last quest item so that is that quest done and wrapped up nice and easy for us all to complete and the next quest we now have to talk to king ultion as i call him that may be wrong again but you also have to defeat some of the skeletons which have spawned in front of him which is relatively straightforward and then you have completed the next quest and we can head back and turn it in now next up you have to go along as I believe to the throne room where you have got yet another data thing to defeat and this time it has about 20,000 health so you may need help with this if you're a lower level otherwise you'll have no trouble at all soloing it and next of all we move on to the third and final area which is to the far right as you're going to see me walk to now just so none of you get lost on our epic journey to battle on look at that okay so now we're at Erebus as we're going to call him and for the first quest you need to defeat the infernal knights which spawn in front of you and then you have to click on the people I click on so first of all there's Twilly in this little cage which is very sad to see little Twilly in the cage then you have Lim on the far left over here and he is actually going to be a very important NPC for us in a minute and then if you advance through to the last little room you have Warlick just here the dark arch mage which is incredibly confusing because we literally just saw him in a bathtub a minute ago anyway so now you have to go to Lim because he will have the last couple of quests in this area for you now first of all you have to do another clicky quest so you have to click above the pet shop there is one on the wall of yield in there is some above like these sort of cardboard rubbery things next to the tree and another blue arrow on the wishing well. Now you're probably wondering where the last one is. Well it is next to Warlick just here in the sort of red circle but of course you'll see the blue arrow for it. Now if we head back we are able to turn the quest in and we have the last one from Lim to complete. So all you have to do for this one is simply click on Warlick yet again and he will give you the next quest where 
you have to advance through the portal just here it will load a cutscene it will auto turn in and this leads us on to the last and final boss fight and of course last quest it will spawn a little quest icon in the top right for you to click on and all you have to do is defeat the boss he is tricky he hits quite high so you will need help with this if you do not have a soloing class and of course if you do need any help with any of this release make sure you leave a comment down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you all again next week for yet another video thank you very much for watching